Hello YouTube, this is EngineerPad5290 coming to you with a rail, a rail fanning bullying video. Um, I know bullying has been an issue, you know, recently, you know, with the development of technology and social media and things like that. Traditional bullying is just simply, you know, bullying somebody in, in the hallway, from, you know, talking nasty to him and doing some nasty things to him. That has, that has slowly slipped away. It has moved on to higher technology like social media and YouTube and emails. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. The internet has been a wonderful source for since probably really took off in the 80s and the 90s. And even into now, internet makes, th makes our lives so much easier because we can do searching at the click of a button. We can type Word documents right at a computer. But what technology has allowed us to do is to communicate with others, you know, that's, that we have never met yet. So my point is, what I'm going to get to today is, rail fanners post videos on YouTube because it's something that they love. You know, they go out, they know locations where they want to go, they film stuff. They put it all over YouTube and post pictures on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the whole nine yards. And that's really good because that's something that they love to do. I am one of those people. I know lots of other friends that love to do the same thing. A few tips that, that I would like to give about it. Number one is, always respect the rail fanning community. The rail fanners are out doing what they love and always respect them for what they do. Number two, find some of their newest releases on YouTube. Watch them for your enjoyment. Always like videos and make co positive comments. Never dislike a video because of if it a lot some you I mean, never dislike a video because it's not the railroad you want to see or some information is wrong. We all make mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes when entering this hobby. It took me some time to figure out a lot of things. And still, I make some mistakes. Everybody's going to make mistakes. You know, one of the best things to do is when something is not right, you always have to comment on something that helps that other guy learn something that same day. Not only does the user publish a video, he also learns something after he publishes that video. So, it's basically a win-win. I mean, you're trying to, trying to explain something. If something is not right, somebody can fill in for you. And that's one good thing about it, because rail fanners can pitch in and, and talk about some things. You know, how the locomotive works, or different um, qualifications on another locomotive that somehow a user may not have picked up. Another problem with the we're all fan of bullying, is negative comments. I'm always offensive about negative comments. I do not like them. Because not only does it hurt the rail f the um, the publisher, in this case I'm using YouTube perspectives, it's not only against the publisher's reputation, it also ruins the reputation of many other rail fans because everybody gets offended by it. I mean, I've, I've seen negative comments too, and we have to learn the fact that the best thing to do when you have a negative comment is simply keep your coolness, means control your emotions, and just monitor it. If it happens on that one video, simply delete it. If somebody gives you a hard time, you block them. Not only is it for your safety, it's also for maybe your other viewer's perspective because they may change their own opinion about your channel or somebody else. And that's some of the precautions that we must take. The internet can be fun and interesting, but dangerous at the same time. And that's why I'm presenting these facts. We have to keep everyone safe on the internet. We can make it fun by commenting very positively, or we can make it all negative and ruin the experience for everyone else. It all depends on the example that we set. Because when you go out in public, 
or when you sit when you sit at the table and eat, you are setting a first impression. What do I mean by first impression? This example theory will relate back to the internet in just a minute or two. One um, first impression is the way you greet yourself, the way you talk to people, the way you look at them in the eye and shake hands, or what you say on the internet. People are judging you by the first time they see you, whether, like I said, looking at them and shaking hands, the manners you use at the table, and or what you say about somebody else's things on social media. So, just take about these things when you, when you go on someone's YouTube channel or social media page. Remember these tips. Number one, always go in with interest. Always go in with some enthusiasm when you're getting ready to watch someone's video. Number two, always like a video. Even if it's, even if it's not what you expect, you have to always give it a like because that shows the publisher that he did his very best. Number three, never dislike someone's video. Even if it's some of the information is wrong or somebody gets too hype, that should not never never lose the fact that somebody took the time and published a video. You should always give them some credit there. Number four, encourage good comments. Remind them of a good job that they've done. And also, encourage some of your other friends to subscribe to, to their channels. Always give them shout outs. That lets them know, hey, this guy's doing great work. I want to I want to help him out a little bit. We can always pitch in and help somebody out, you know, when they're want to give them a little follow boost on Instagram or Facebook or a subscriber boost on YouTube. It's exactly the same thing. And being helpful is part of setting a good example. It's helping others. Whether if it's helping somebody get to the car, or putting the groceries in the car, or helping somebody on the internet. We can all help each other. And the last thing is, never criticize or say negative things about someone's video. I... As like I said before, I am not strong of that. Um, it hurts the reputation of rail fanners, and and the rail fan and uh, the publisher's uh, reputation as well. So, I know some rail fanners wear vests when they are out by the tracks. I know some railroad employees are not fond of that, and I can understand where they're coming from. But some of these rail fanners, they wear it because they promote safety. And that's and that's a really good positive thought there. I am a strong supporter of safety. Uh, I believe in safe rail fanning. I believe in safe work on the job site. I believe in safety, period. So, and even the rail fanner, I mean, um, the railroad workers are strongly encouraged by safety because that's part of the regulations that they have is they have to abide the safety rules according to OSHA specs. So... If you see somebody wearing a vest or a hard hat by the railroad tracks, always encourage, always, you know, leave some comments like, hey, that looks great on you, man, or hey, that's awesome. Hang on to that. Show them a little encouragement. Um, and always remember, just remember this. If someone ever comments something wrong, always keep your coolness. Just keep your coolness, delete the comment, and block the user. These are some of the simplest steps that you can prevent from, from getting rail fan bullied, as I'm going to say for rail fanners, and cyber bullied too. If somebody's giving you a hard time, just block them. If it gets to be a, a pretty big issue, turn them into administration. Because administration can do a whole lot. They send it. You send it off to them. They review it, and then they then they take um, necessary action. So my question to all of you is: I have several questions. You know, I have some rail fan bullying questions. How will you act on the internet toward other rail fanners and other users? How will you act towards someone's video? Will you will you talk positive about a video or negative? 
which would you rather choose? For me, it would be the positive because I have to remind myself that the guy took the time to do a video and publish it. And that's what you have to remind him. And thirdly, how will you set an example when you post it when you post on the internet? How will you set the best example when you talk to somebody on the internet? The negative or the positive? And how will you make how will your contribution make the internet safe for rail fans and for other users? Please give this some thought. Please share your thoughts in the description box. I encourage you to like this. Please encourage others to watch this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Engineer Pat, and I will see you next time.